I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man sucks. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Working Class Holes Podcast. I'm your host, Ed McGowan, here in the break room with my co-host, Josh Accard. Uh, what's up, dude? Edward, how are you? I'm all right. How Very about good. you? I'm all right. I'm a little dry. Dry. This is the season, man. Like this your skin? is, dude. I can't even put enough moisturizer on my skin. Man. You get like just, the crack knuckles. I get like, yeah, just sort of fucking right. caked out. Um, yeah, it's like everything's like <laughs> ashy Eddie. Ashy Eddie. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, yes, you are sure. The white man does get ashy. Bro, what you don't get ashy though? Sicilian and Hawaiian. You know, I get my my hands get. I wash my hands a lot. Oh, so my hands do, but nothing yeah. else. Oh, dude, my face is like I'm too greasy. Yeah, my face is taut <laughs> right now, dude. <laughs> Your face is like Bill Coughlin in that that game he coached for the Giants, where his, he just made a Vaseline all over his face. Yeah, dude, you remember, I remember that? that, I remember like, that dude. Lambeau Field, he didn't wear his fucking in the playoffs, and his shit was just. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he had to like put his face in Vaseline for like seven days after that. Oh, dude! Because his face looked like it was just like he was climbing Everest. It's like <laughs> that movie Alive where they eat the people off the plane. <laughs> it's like he's been in the fucking Alps for two weeks straight. <laughs> what are you been doing? Ah, he's just standing on the sidelines of a fucking giant stadium. It looked like his skin was peeling off dude, the whole time. It, it, it looked, dude. He looks like he still looks like yeah, that. I, I you think know what I mean? Affected like, him permanently. Yeah, right. <laughs> just that wind burn. Oh man. I. You know what? When I first moved here, I didn't know how real that was. Wind burn? I, I run hot, so I even in New York, I was super stubborn the first year I moved here. I didn't wear the proper attire. I did uh, not know how to layer. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I'm from San Diego. I mean, yeah, yeah. I yeah. wore shorts year round. Oh yeah. And it yeah, wasn't yeah. like it wasn't cold. I'm just that's just my island shit. I just yeah, you know right. sandals, all that. Uh huh. And that first year, man, I chafed on the inside of my legs. Oh yeah, yeah dude. I dude, got like hammered, just flaking oh. off skin, just flaking off. Dude, it's fucking it was gross. Awful. Winter yeah. is a bitch. Summer is one thing, but something about winter when it's cold and when it's really like through your bones. I mean, that's that first two years I was running on adrenaline here because of the weather. I was like, oh, I can make it. Well, you're the younger. third year when I lived here. You're younger yeah. though too. Yeah, it was like, in my late mid like, twenties. Yeah. yeah, you're like in, you know invincible. Yeah, I, I could do. Oh, whatever, big sure. deal. Yeah. I, oh, I'm all flaky. It's fine. I don't care. It's now I'm like, how, I'm just like, yeah. Seriously, I think the the part about me, I always thought I'll do I'll do whatever I want always because I'll fucking eat it. I'll if I have to eat it, I'll eat it. But I'm gonna do what I want. And now as I'm 43. I still have the attitude, I'll do what I want, and then I'll weigh what I want against <laughs> what the repercussions will be. And I'm like, well, I don't want to really deal with that. Like, drinking now, like, I'm an alcoholic. And I, you know, it's been a really hard for me to get my drinking under control. And now it's the sheer thought of being hungover that I'm like, I can't, I don't want to do That's that. amazing. It's yeah. just the, the hangover now. See, because it's not fun. I don't learn my lesson. You, you learn your lesson. I don't, like, I don't, I have to, like, completely abstain. Like, I, a smaller uh, microcosm of that with me is hot sauce. Like, I'm miserable. <laughs> I have no business putting hot sauce on anything. On anything, dude. It fucking ruins me, dude. It ruins like me, Like your inside, oh, your tongue, my the whole fucking line. asshole is just like fucking... Well, what kind of hot sauce? Just like I can take hot, too. I do a lot of... I can do hot. Yeah, I mean, hot. I can do it as I eat it, but like the repercussions... Yeah, yeah, you pay. Ah, uh, it's just... I'm like, just, I'm like, well, I can't sit down. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like how much are you putting on, though? Uh, I go, I mean, not even, I don't even, like, I've, t I guess I've slowed down. <laughs> I sound like an alcoholic. Like, I only do, you know what, what I mean? What it used to be, like, you would take, what, like, oh, just Tabasco? So just, like, dip, like, a, like an au jus. Oh, you know what I mean? Wow. I'll go to, uh, yeah. yeah. Or, like, with the peppers. I remember one time when we were at a fucking, uh, I think it was a Steve Miller band <laughs> concert. <laughs> In the late '90s, and it was like you know we would go to these shows, and it was just all about hanging out in the in the parking lot, yeah, yeah. doing nitrous balloons and eating fucking mushrooms. 
And this fucking crunchy ass hippie in this deadhead van was like, "Hey, man, I got these some. I got, oh, I got some peppers." He had like these Scotch bonnet peppers, mm-hmm. and I was like, "He's like, be real careful with it." But you know, he was like, he was like making like a sandwich. Was there drugs or infused in them or something? No. They were just just peppers. Just another just, form of extremity, like yeah. extremity that he can just, bring. Just to the being party. a fucked up, you know, just being fucking all tweaked out, and just being like, "Hey, man, you want to try this pepper?" Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, all right, cool. I like this idea. I ate a whole Scotch bonnet pepper, dude. I Your never, tongue was on fire, dude. Right? I was putting, I was eating dirt. I had to like, I was eating the ground, that. the the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> People were standing around me just watching. I was like, I was just putting it's dirt. Like in boogie nights, or that guy's wife's getting fucked on the driveway. <laughs> it's just you eating dirt. A bunch of hippies standing around you. <laughs> Yeah, shut up, Bill. Let him eat the dirt. <laughs> Try to talk about the scene tomorrow, Bill. <laughs> How are we going to light this? <laughs> yeah, shut up, little Bill. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but the fi- I still, I don't learn my lesson, man. Man, I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah it, it, it's uh, like I'm home alone all weekend. I, I, I had big plants in my head. Oh, you were I, home alone all weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, from Saturday, 10 a.m. on, I've been home alone. So it's been 48 hours now, a little more. I, I couldn't tell you what I've done. Yeah. I watched all of uh, that show, Win- uh, Winning Time or whatever, on HBO. Uh, and then I watched the three-part documentary about the uh, Boston Celtics and the Lakers. I just have been, <laughs> at this point, I think I'm Red Auerbach. <laughs> I start smoking a stogie and <laughs> trying to find the next great white hope. <laughs> Literally, you'd think I was a ba- like a basketball fanatic. Yeah. <laughs> I just fell down this rat. I've literally smoked all my weed. It's uh, all gone. Uh, <laughs> I've eaten uh, seven edibles. I can't find peace. <laughs> I'm trying to put myself in a fucking coma, and I can't even do it. I organized my whole desk, hooked up a new... Uh, I know, I came into the room here, and you're like, oh, yeah, I did some organizing. I'm like, uh-huh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> somebody was home alone all weekend. <laughs> I think I'm losing my fucking mind. I mean, my son, my wife, I have nothing to do but the dog, you know, and the dog is relatively chill. Mm-hmm. So it's not like I have a whole thing, you know, going on. I, the only thing that has been fun is I watched the Sunday night game, the the a, a, Jets, uh, NLCS, uh, fi- yeah. that oh, game, oh, yeah. and then the, the yeah. wom- woman's uh, oh, did you finals. Watch because YouTube does the multi-view. Oh, so I got to watch all at yeah, once. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fucking great. That they was off- the coolest thing I've done all week. They offered me that. I was like, uh, I was sitting in front of it last night and they offered me the multi-view. I it's, never, it's I didn't legit. click it. Yeah, it's oh, cool. Oh, it's legit. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's cool. legit. Multi-view's yeah, this good. October's like the best month for sports. Oh, it's unbelievable. It's, it's I mean, so, the only thing I needed was uh, was the Rangers or somebody to be playing yeah, yeah, yeah. in the other corner. I would have yeah, yeah. done it. So. Oh, here we go. New message sent. Yeah, we got a. We got a special thing for you guys. What do we got? I don't know what's he doing here. <laughs> gonna join in five minutes yeah we already know that yeah 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 thanks for the heads up all right we aren't gonna say who this is yet fucking pain in the you're ass. gonna know and it's gonna god be what worth it. he's such a pain in the ass <laughs> i can't i'm not saying anything because he'll hear this and then he'll think oh because you guys talk more oh. so i feel like if i say it he thinks i'm insulting him oh right and when yeah, you yeah, yeah. say it you're just busting his balls because you guys are always talking we don't talk enough I think he gets Dude, offended. This is un. Uh, this is has no. This is not subjective. He's a pain in the ass. <laughs> it's like a fact. It's like a fact. It's like you know what I mean. It's like the sky is blue, water's wet. He's a pain in the fucking ass. <laughs> God love him. He really is a pain in the ass. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I got two more. I got. A, I got today. The rest of today, and I got all of tomorrow. Uh. To be alone. And I don't know. I think I'm going to just, I don't know what to do with myself. It's a very weird feeling because I remember back in the day before my son, if my wife went out of town, I'd say, yo, I'm throwing a Josh Palooza. Oh, right. I'm going to get mm-hmm. blasted. Yep. I'm going to have people over. I'm mm-hmm. going to act a fool and put all the pieces back together and it'll be fine when you get home. Yeah. I was That was my MO. I want to get wrecked. All right, right. I have no desire. Yeah. It's like a, trying to find new hobbies now. It's ho- I don't have any. Yeah. I mean, do you sleep a lot? No, that's another thing. Oh, that's bro. another thing. See, I that's... used to be able to sleep. You know what's funny is I was in Detroit bro, about a month ago. I could take a, a three-hour nap. I used to be able to sleep oh. all 
fucking day. And ever since my son, uh huh. I mean, I the funny thing is, is I nap when he's here. I can't yeah. wait to nap when he's here. Yeah, right. But now that I have all the free will to nap, I. I, I laid in bed to force myself to take a nap. I whacked it twice. I think I've hurt my urethra. I got a lot of whacking. I've twice been doing. and couldn't fall asleep. Couldn't fall asleep. Oh, bro. For the nap, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the nap. Yeah, that's that's tough. And well, the, here's the trick, though. You gotta. It's gotta be. You gotta be like all set up. As soon as you you done you're done whacking, like you just and you go right. Who are you talking? Who are you talking to? <laughs> yeah, right. It's a set up preparation. <laughs> my whole life is set up. <laughs> The fucking fan going, uh, I had the AC on, the dark out shades, the perfect porn list set up, playlist, the perfect lube. I had it all. I had Gatorade. I had all the things well, on my end Did you do like a cleanup afterwards or did you just go right to the bed? I had a, I had a wipe ready. So you got to just leave it. See, so you get, you get, you fire up. You go so, in, you go in a cleanup. A, the problem is I didn't sleep in it. Yeah, you got to sleep in a mess. <laughs> yes. Yeah, sleep in a mess like an animal. I get in so much trouble because I... <laughs> Sometimes, like, we'll take the sheets off, and on my side, there'll be, like, a giant... Oh, yeah, dude. Like, <laughs> I'd nut and roll over and fall asleep. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> all pull the time. my shorts up. It goes through the yeah. shorts. I don't care. No. I'm disgusting. Yeah. I'm fucking awful. I'm gross. Yeah. I have certain boxers that I wear. <laughs> I have the, you have game time. I have like game time boxers, nut boxers, and no nut. You know, I got the. These are oh, I, these are like my church boxers. I just call those my sleep. The, the these sleep, sleep wear. Yeah, just my sleep. Yeah, my sleep wear. Yeah, yeah. Because that's when it happens. But you know, it's like laundry day when you're wearing the sleep boxers out, <laughs> out of the house. I've never worn the sleep wear out of the house. <laughs> Ooh, oh, what do we got here? What do we got here? Hold oh. on. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we got a guest joining us via Discord. I can't hear him. Hey. Hey. Yeah. All right, well, let us, let us introduce on. you, you mutt. Hold on. Let me get this recording going here. All right, so. Is it this way? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Hey, did you hear that? <laughs> Sexy. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. Some may know him as Zachy Peanuts. Some may know him as Zachy Two Molly. Some of you may know him as Zachy Two Couch. Some of you may know him as Zachy Two Defenses. Some of you may know him as Zachy Two Kickers. But he's the one and only Zach Petrovich. Zach Petrovich. What's going on, guys? What's up, dude? How you doing, brother? Uh, so oh. we're gonna interview. We're gonna interview Zach for our producer position here in a bit. But we wanted to talk to him before we interviewed him. We, we needed a producer. He has a kid on the way, but it's not a paying job, but it'll be good for his soul. So we're going to put him through the interview process, right, Ed? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be an interview. It's going to be what, what, what technical uh, skills you bring into the, uh, to the table here, uh, Zach, as, as producer, as working class holes producer. Well, uh, first time, a long time. First of all, uh, <laughs> just uh, want to bring that up. Uh, we uh, we have this great uh, situation where I think um, I think the, the 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 voice of the working class holes is fantastic, and I, I think as the producer, you need a working class hole guy to be the producer of the working class hole podcast. Um, as a current door to door salesman, I don't think <laughs> I'm find a candidate that embodies quite what you're looking for other than me so how many hey can we talk, can we talk about this oh for yeah, a yeah let's do yeah, yeah. Let's I, I am i okay do you know how many people that know zach like uh one removed right know me but know zach th through me uh-huh that i have seen in the last what have you how long have you been gone from new york city now like two years <laughs> probably about a year and a half two years yeah something like that yes every time what's zach up to Oh, sure. What shenanigans is Zach? Up oh, to? sure. Yeah. And when I tell them <laughs> he sells it, the internet door to door, <laughs> they are baffled. And I can't explain. They're like, what do you mean? I go, I don't I don't know. I Maybe he takes his phone to them and he says, hey, look, you ever seen the internet? I, I just don't know. I figure everyone knows about it. So I'm dying to know about his job. <laughs> I didn't know that's what you were selling. I thought it was vacuum cleaners. <laughs> no, so I was, I was doing the uh, carpet. Last time I was on the working class was I was door to door carpets. Um, <laughs> he would roll up carpet. like a log, like one of those log guys rolling up on a carpet. <laughs> I had a, so my whole trunk. You guys remember I had the CRV. Yeah. I had my yeah. entire CRV was uh, stuffed with carpet squares. 
and samples? wood samples, tile samples. Like I just, yeah, that was Is that my, lucrative. Like how do you make money in a fast pace if you're going door to door? So, how does that work? Uh, so with the carpeting, it wasn't, it was door to door, but it wasn't door to door. Right. Like I had, people would call in for a free estimate because we had the, co- I can't, I probably can't. I mean, I don't give a shit. I work for empire. Uh, you know, one eight hundred five eight eight two three hundred Empire. I was the guy that showed up when you called for your free estimate. <laughs> Would you do that at the door? <laughs> I, no, I but the guy the that they had on the video I had to show looked like me a little bit. I was like, <laughs> I swear it's not my brother. That was my. <laughs> I was at the go to. I mean, yeah, isn't yeah. the work there though? Is like I want it's a, a part of the family but business. I was really bad at that job. <laughs> Uh, I did you say you're I, really bad at a job? I, <laughs> this is your interview, you know that, right? <laughs> yeah, well, you know that's the thing. I'm a producer. I'm not really. I'm not really a worker bee. I'm a. I'm a big picture kind of guy. So, a visionary. A visionary. I like. Yeah. I, Zach's more of like uh, an idea guy. Like yeah, an ideas man. Yeah, he's an ideas man. He's like, hey, I got an idea. Discord. <laughs> and look, hey, this is great. Yeah. Yeah, Zach does have good ideas. It's yeah. not a lack. I think we, Zach's balls, but it's not a lack of. How, can you hear us? Okay. Yeah, I hear you guys fine. I mean, I think I can't see you, which is whatever. But oh, you can't see us? No, because like how my screen is, it's. Oh wait, hold. Oh, there we go. I figured it out. That was just yeah. me being dumb. The producer, the producer, our, our producer, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, our future producer right here. This is going great. <laughs> this really is the kind of operation I'm used to. <laughs> I take a problem and I fix it on the fly. <laughs> Done. I did. I don't need to prepare. I, and also, I fix it on the also, run. <laughs> better, better. <laughs> on the run. <laughs> I fix things on the run. I don't prepare. I don't think about it. I have to be in the moment. No, here's the thing. I spent a lot of time on the run, so it's, it's where I work best. <laughs> oh, I'm still on the run. <laughs> so, okay. All right. Well, very Go quickly. Ahead. Sorry. I just want to finish. Carpet. The carpet thing. You hated it. You weren't good at it. You bailed. And now you're doing the door-to-door internet. Tell so us about I was, that. No, I was working for – I was selling windows in the interim. That was my first job out here on the West Coast. <laughs> I was working for a window company that needed me there 8 to 5 in the office. Why? God. Wait, hold on a second. Can I just pause here for a second? Zach Petrovich in the sales team. I just love that that this Zach – see, we don't really know this Zach. This Zach oh, yeah. in, the, in the sales room – how you doing, fellas? Like I, I bet you, could, how I bet you, you do well, though, right? You, you go to go to uh, when you're talking to the rest of the team, you, fellas, boys, gentlemen. Why is he addressing the team? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Let Zach oh. address. The team. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when Zach walks in with a cup of coffee, you know what I mean? With those broad shoulders. <laughs> Listen, folks, uh, I don't know what you guys are doing out there. Me, I'm right. Okay. <laughs> I can see Zach walking in with the coffee, giving a fucking big rah rah speech his first day. He just walks out the back door. I just have had a great day. Give- Where the fuck did that guy go? <laughs> Who is that guy? <laughs> He's stealing a bunch of carpets out. <laughs> <laughs> took all of his office supplies and threw them in his CRV. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Zach. <laughs> so the window thing doesn't work out. Window thing doesn't work out, and then I find this job, uh, and so it's it's going. I'm currently working for him, so I can't talk too much like sure. uh, specifics. But I can let you know that uh, I uh, one of the questions I usually get in these interviews is, "What adversity have you felt faced in the field, and how did you overcome it?" Right? I didn't know I had to interview myself, you fucking <laughs> mooks. But uh, I'll give you the question <laughs> as long as we- I have the answer. Okay. <laughs> so. My big thing is, uh, my big thing is, uh, I get He's a total sales mode it. right now. <laughs> it's the best is the adversity is like, well, I had to sleep in a race car bed with a, a Mexican porter. Uh, we don't know, we don't know your adversities. <laughs> I've, I've experienced new adversities. Okay. Uh, I get chased by dogs pretty regularly. Uh, you got it. There's a trick to it, though. You got to rattle the fence first. Yeah. You so you're cold first. calling. You're cold calling these houses. Cold calling. Yeah. Real. And cold how calling. do you make money? Just let's do that first, because I'm going to get wrapped up in your nonsense and I'm going to start laughing. And I'm going to forget to figure this out. How are you making money? How does a company make so money? Currently, right now, uh, a recruiter put me on. So I'm on a contract to hire contract. Ah. So they they pay me hourly. 
plus I get a couple of promos for selling certain products, right? Uh, so pretty gravy gig because no one's really tracking my ass, which is great. Um, until this podcast comes out. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> who wants to go door to door to sell a product that sells itself? That's right. like going door to door to sell cocaine. Uh, <laughs> it's that's not lost on me. So but, is, uh, can I ask a question here? Doesn't the Internet aren't there like is if you were in New York, you would have like Time Warner Cable or Fios or Fios. Are something. you? Spectrum. Are you eight million years old? Time Warner Cable? I don't know what it is. I have spe- Spectrum. Is it Spectrum? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's Spectrum. Okay, they changed it. Time Warner. <laughs> yeah, you so you have Time Cox Warner. Cable. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you hook up your Roadrunner <laughs> to your Cox <laughs> Cable. <laughs> Roadrunner. All right, all right, all right. Roadrunner is a deep cut. Turner's really going places with his networks. <laughs> but what do you? But are you saying that you have? other ethernet cables okay. under the sidewalk that you're like we could we could tap you into those how does that yeah, even work so, uh what it was was um i mean i can't i can't go into specifics because it's my current job right like so i can't uh, tell okay. you what company, all right. that kind of thing all right so you sell the left. internet yeah, okay. uh, yeah i have a kid on the way assholes all right i need to fucking i need to oh, i didn't know it was a work <laughs> yeah. yeah i didn't I know it was work. a work you tell me there's an <laughs> angle i don't i won't say shit <laughs> yeah. i'll tell you it was a pyramid right scheme now, okay you know, if you guys were paying better, this wouldn't be an issue. Okay, <laughs> we haven't even hired you yet. <laughs> I, I know. Hey, it's about seeing yourself in the job. All right, it's about seeing yourself in the job and complaining immediately. Like, be in the job and complaining about the job I, before you get the job. I do like that you're wearing a shirt. Me I was, too. I was really wondering what we'd be looking at right, right here. Over oh, there. he's in dad mode. Oh yeah. No, 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 no. Keep it on. You look great. Yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> you look great, buddy. That's good. I'm feeling good. Let me ask you this. So uh, when I was 14, I was doing door-to-door sales uh, for the uh, Bucks County Courier Times. Yeah. That, How did you sell a, a that? Ma- a massive uh, publication in its time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the New York Times, Boston, <laughs> Washington Post. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Bucks County Courier Times. <laughs> But there was a uh, there was an you know an eighteen year old who would drive us all all around. So my question to you is: Is somebody uh, dropping you guys, picking you guys up in a shuttle bus? No, he's doing it himself. You can tell. No, how happy I he is. drive out to a territory. <laughs> yeah. No, so this is the sketchy part. I drive out to a territory and I have to like park in front of like some like I have to street park, but it's a, it's not like New York. It's like residential, so people see me park and leave a car there for like five hours. Oh. Yeah. So people like sometimes people are like, what are you doing? And I'll be like, I'm working. Do you need internet? What's uh? Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. What are you, you talking about? You your doing? internet speeds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? You know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it's funny because like, um, I mean, you guys know I'm out. I'm out on the West Coast now, and uh, just I mean, Josh, you know the vibe. I mean, I gotta say though, your family is very for West Coast people. They're very because I've met your family before. Yeah. Very East Coast mentality. Yeah, Southern California, especially San Diego, there's so many um, people there that come from the armed services that you don't yeah. get that vibe. Like Seattle's Pacific North, that's a whole other situation up there. Oh, the higher you awesome. go, the weirder shit kind of gets for me anyways. Yeah, no, I mean, me too. I, I hate it out here. Um, it, <laughs> it's weird because like, it's like is- people that you think you get along with because there are a lot of, you know, I like my guns. I like the nature, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. But then there's this other element of, kind of hippie on crack situation yeah that happens yeah. up there like portland it, especially i think portland. it's a lack of i think it's a lack of genuineness is what i get it from people out here um oh, and that's like interesting. doing door yeah. doing door to door is hilarious because like i'm show me like i can't yeah. hide who i am i mean ed has seen me surf tables before and that's about the same level of hiding who i am <laughs> that i do door to door yeah uh ed would you like to elaborate on that I just I I immediately have that picture of you with I've that, never seen him wait tables with that huge chef jacket on. <laughs> Why would you see him? What did you see him with that on? Uh, I saw you yeah, at Capitol Grill, Grill uh, and then I saw you at the other place down uh, Battery Park. PJ Clark's. See, he Is saw that, me. Josh, you came in one night for PJ Clark's. Yeah, but you weren't doing any. I just you were working, but working in the back. You didn't right. wait on me. I came to the bar to say hi to you because I worked in the building. You were the biggest yeah. I had ever seen, and you had a chef jacket oh, on. Oh, yeah, you were heavier then, huh? Oh, my I God. Almost, I was pushing three. I was pushing yeah. three. Yeah. yeah. That chef jacket was massive. <laughs> like, you could hide three dishwashers in there. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny? Probably had all these steaks in there he was hiding. <laughs> I mean... 
they didn't give me a watch for retiring. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, oh, no. So, so like, that's pretty much that's pretty much who I am door to door. Um, so like, these people are very, you know, oh, uh, like my favorite is people talking through ring doorbells. Like some people don't even answer the door. They talk through the ring. That's doorbell. another thing about this. Oh, I would never, I mean, I'm a New Yorker, so I didn't know if this was specific to me, but I would never answer my door ever, ever. That's a back, that's a back home thing though. That's, that's being back home. You know what I mean? Out here, everyone's howdy doodly doodly neighbor. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I got a I make sense. Landers smoking weed out here. You know what I mean? No oh, one. okay. I had an issue with a lady downstairs. <sighs> she was, uh, she was complaining about my dog and uh, she would always come up knocking on my door and like I would what barking the barking. Yeah, yeah it was a, it was the last dog. Uh, uh, but like when she would come up, I would make sure that I open the door like without a shirt. Oh, yeah. You, you know want to make I mean? it really just like in boxers. If like going to come up. Here, what's up? What's up? Gonna get yeah. What do you view. want? You're going to see it all here, yeah, lady. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. scratching my ass like what? <laughs> just With fucking full dirt bag. How many times she go up there? She used to, she, uh, she must 10, 12 times. That she she knocked on my door. Oh, yeah. Cool she was fuck. nuts. Fucking she, wild. She, I tried to close. I was like, okay, all right. I, la I was like laughing like, ah, yeah, all right. As I'm shutting the door, she put her hand Whoa. on the door. And I went, Whoa. you serious? Whoa. <laughs> you serious, lady? That's, yeah. That's a no-no. Oh, dude, Whoa. it was great. So the whole building hated her, too. Like, she was just like a. Uh, what are you talking so about? She wasn't this easy going. sounds like a peach. She sounds like a peach. Yeah, like dude. A peach. What do you mean? When the whole she curioed your door, it. when she put her foot in the fucking door jam. When she moved, the whole all like the uh, the building guys, all the maintenance guys, everybody got together. It was like it was like <laughs> had, like cheers in, like a little celebration. <laughs> oh, that's great. So the door to door thing. Do you get a lot of exercise? Uh yeah, I walk about five miles a day. Uh, I Holy do have shit, a dude. little bit of an update. Little bit of an update. I did shit my pants on Wednesday. Uh, so. Did the oysters again get you? No. Oh, that, oh my god! I forgot about the oysters. <laughs> did Zach ate like fifty you oysters once and shit his pants. <laughs> I pooped my pants after I ate seventy-five oysters. <laughs> I ate seventy-five oysters. I pooped my pants in the West Village. <laughs> oops! Oops! I crapped. Oops! I crapped oops, oops, crap my pants. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That would be oops, my. Yeah. So I had IBS for like three years straight uh, in the mid 2000, like 2012 to 15 or something. Hot right? sauce? No, I wish. I wish it was, an, it was uh, anxiety. Oh. Uh, when I got on Lexapro, it stopped. It was very odd. Oh, but, wow. I, but it was happening so often. And those were the days we had to go into the office every day. Uh -huh. And you would be in rush hour and I'd have to, it was a 50 minute door to door subway trip. And I knew every available toilet off of every stop because I had to know because it was yeah. an emergency. Like, I remember one time I thought I was going to have to shit in between the subway cars mm -hmm. like a homeless guy. Yeah. Like, I was willing to do it while the train was moving at top speed, too. That's how bad. I was like, I do not want to shit my pants on this crowded train. <laughs> it's I've, the most uh, terrifying feeling ever. It sucks. Yeah. Dude, uh, it dude was, I've it shit my pants. I, I shit my pants when I was, like, smoking smoking rocks. Well, that's like, rocks, yeah. I, I told that story, by the way, to a friend of mine. <laughs> you, we were walking, and I saw a huge turd, and I told him, I go, hey, look, I think that might be a human turd. He's like, how do you know? How do you know? It was a, between, the professional guy I was with. Well, first off, <laughs> you want to get you want to get to between, like, like two sedans. You don't want to be, you don't want to be, like, an SUV. You want to get, like, a two, like, sedans, like a nice, like, Camry Toyota, like a Toyota Corolla, you know. I was like, well, a good friend of mine. <laughs> the former crackhead. He would tell me if you would take the right hit, it, it was inevitable. <laughs> he was unloading, inevitable. I'm just, I'm just picturing like Billy Madison. Oh, that's a nice piece of shit. <laughs> You're walking up on human. That's a nice human turd. Oh my god. So why did you? You mean you are okay? So you don't have access to a bathroom? No. So I'm in a residential <laughs> neighborhood. I park and then I walk. And I have, like, sometimes I lose the car. That happens. <laughs> that, happens oh. that, happens and that, is a, that is a shortcoming. <laughs> like that time I lost my car. <laughs> just wandering around roughly. in just a bad suit. <laughs> yeah, what do you got to wear? <laughs> oh, I mean, you know, uh, khakis and a shirt that says, you know, I look like the Verizon guy, you know. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. I have a lanyard. Uh, and the picture on the lanyard is just 
Chef kiss. I nailed it. <laughs> uh, so was it food poisoning or was it a, what happened? So dude, well, I mean, you guys know, I have a tenuous uh, grasp on my bowels to begin with, right? Like, you know, I, I <laughs> it's, 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 she's always you know, on the verge of shitting himself. <laughs> like this, this isn't a new I'm conversation. I'm four oysters guys, away. Uh, yeah, you guys have known me for ten years. This isn't a new conversation. There's so much baby <laughs> laxative in his bloodstream, he can't help it. <laughs> he but started you, so much baby laxative, <laughs> he's constantly having to take a diarrhea. <laughs> uh, so I'm not, that's not the problem anymore, <laughs> shithead. But uh, you know, so um, so long story short, I get about four houses deep, and I've had like conversations with pretty much everyone I've talked to, and like you know, I sold one, and so I'm going to this next house, and I start feeling a rumbly, and I'm like, ah, oh. this is gonna be fine, this is gonna be fine, and uh, you're doing the I the mental mind, trying the to overcome house. it mentally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I get done 20. with the next house. And during the pitch, I was fine. The second they closed the door, it's go time. Uh, yeah. I am, you know, cold sweats. Oh, yeah. And your butthole doing the, the, oh, the trumpet play. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, <laughs> did you lock up? Did you, do you like do the oh, freeze? I up. Oh, so you're I still on. Up. You're still on their doorstep? On the porch still? <laughs> on the doorstep. <laughs> no, door is closed. And I start doing, like, I start oh, doing oh. the Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> walk, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's not good. And, um. Did you go back to your car, though? Oh, you can't but, find it? You lost so your car? I to, no, no, no. So I get to, I couldn't find the car first. But then I got to the car. And I had this moment where I'm like, okay. I can make it to uh there's like a grocery store that I tend to shit in. Yeah, and see? Uh, yeah, I, I know. <laughs> okay. I can get there. So I start driving and I make a wrong turn. And that was it. I was just like, you know, like when you lose the mental battle, it's really a mental yeah, battle more yeah, than a mental is. battle sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. I lost the mental battle. So I called Mandy and I let her know. Your I said, wife. Hey, I might have to Your come. New wife. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like. I might have to come home. Uh, I had a two, we call it a two, so we call it a too late moment because my my mother has also shit her pants in this way, uh, and she calls it too late. So I like to call her. I'm like, hey, I might be having a too late moment, and um, she goes, the fact that you have oh. a code for it. <laughs> she just goes, oh, <laughs> okay, you know, and I'm like, so I get home. And I shit in the car. Uh, <laughs> and I was crying. Oh, I was. I had to roll down every window. Like it was horrendous. Uh, you know what I mean? You just and like people are like, I'm sitting there like on the verge of tears because I'm so embarrassed. And like, there's people in the car next to me. Like, why is that guy sweating and crying? He like, must, what's going he on? must have lost a close family member. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, no, I just shit my pants because I didn't. I didn't fucking plan ahead. Can, can I ask? Can I ask a question? So now it happens. Now you're in your car. Are you? Are you kind of hovering? Oh, yeah. do you, are, are you, you doing a hovering, or are you just you just sitting in it? I lived in it. it. I lived you lived in it. it. Wow. Did you have to uh, like wash the, the seats? It was like one of those. It wasn't a healthy shit. Obviously, no. Like when you shoot they band, never are. Shit, right? Yeah. So it was just it seeped out. Oh. oh. So there was like really nothing to do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you know those those uh those things that what's a Carfax? <laughs> <laughs> like when a car should be <laughs> like when a car's car's been in an accident, right? I just that should be considered salvage. <laughs> <laughs> no, car was in an accident. No, no, no. A three hundred pound Serbian to go. You shit in there. <laughs> it's beyond. It's beyond repair. <laughs> That fucker salvaged. <laughs> hey, Kelly Blue Book. <laughs> the insurance company's like, it's to we're total in it. It's totaled. No, no, no. That's why I got some of your adjusters over. <laughs> you think I'm lying? I mean, we can sell it for parts, but this seat is done. <laughs> <laughs> the shit seeped through the engine. <laughs> This guy, he shit his own engine. <laughs> yeah, you flooded it. You flooded it. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. Uh, god dude that's great oh yeah. my god so good so all right so i so i just i just want to jump in on uh i think i i mean 
You want to start the interview? I think you got the job. <laughs> yeah, you're in. You're in. <laughs> you're in, Zach. <laughs> you know, I was uh, questioning the decision up until the part where you shit yourself and your wife had to save you. That made me, you do belong here. I think I, you, you I belong think here you, daily. I think, My I think you showed you, you know how to overcome yeah. adversity. <laughs> you know what's funny? You didn't bring in, this is the last thing I'll say about you shitty. We'll move on. But I used to have to, <laughs> I used to have to, put myself in a clock right like right when i f- f- <laughs> i just choked on his water <laughs> he's gonna throw up <laughs> he's gonna die <laughs> oh my god you all right bro oh shit i'm really worried about the guy uh-oh <laughs> eddie you good bud <laughs> wrong all right all right oh. oh my god i almost fucking died <laughs> I, was, I was worried about you you started puking i thought it was funny and then i <laughs> I almost fucking died. <laughs> you turned into Adrian Brody Holy on the shit. fucking Peaky Blinders. Oh What's going on? Oh my god. Uh, oh, this is Shelby. Uh, it was too funny. Oh god damn. So I tried to hold in my spit I know, tank. I know, I know. Because I didn't want to fucking spit all over your nice clean room. <laughs> yeah, give me something to do for the weekend. Uh, <laughs> hey, Hendry, I didn't want to ruin your floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit oh my god all right all right very good uh let's uh, move on that was fantastic good. so uh, basically i am i have become tommy callahan from tommy boy though uh, I am. your dreams have come true it's yeah uh, yeah i didn't become chris farley i just became tommy. <laughs> <laughs> you're about to become one or the other and you, you came out on top oh my god <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, fucking. All yeah. right, I gotta wrap it up. I gotta, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna die. Dude, dude I almost fucking died. Off Ed's life. Yeah, <laughs> Zachy, plug where you're at. Our new producer, Zachy Peanuts. Congratulations for being the producer of the Working Class Holes. We're so excited to have you aboard. Please plug where you're at so the people can find you. You guys, it's an easy one. Zachy Peanuts, Z A C H Y Peanuts, like the allergy on everything. Uh, Got it. Easiest way to find me. Uh, and, uh, yeah, also give a like, a uh, subscribe to the new working class holes podcast. Hey, uh, yeah. Featuring Zachy two kickers. By the way, you guys suck at fantasy. I just want to bullshit, dude. That. I'm five and two. I'm kicking yeah, ass right now. Two. Five and two. Yeah. You played a guy who didn't update his lineup. Well, so hey, you got lucky. Cut- That's his fault. I know. I know. I'm going to make a phone call. You're, you know, you guys got, you know, weak family or something over there. Okay. <laughs> 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 That's so funny. Is my cousin throws like a ninety nine mile per hour fastball. I know. I know. The pros. I'm like, hey, you know what this guy said about you? See if Zach could take a couple at bats. That'd be a great episode. <laughs> <laughs> my cousin just <laughs> throwing fucking together. heaters at the Oh, oh dude, not doing this though. We've talked we have about talked about it with him. Yes. Oh, I'm totally down for that. He he still pops a glove too. He I still can rock it. <laughs> what was the last time you hit a baseball, Zach? Oh, I'd I'd rope it. I got. I rope it. <laughs> I rope it. I like he, he doesn't even answer the question. He's just like, "Oh, I'll rope it, dude." You don't need to know how long it's been. It's always here. <laughs> He's gonna hey, throw I mean, so much heat in your face. Uh, you know, it's got to be on my time, okay? Uh, so three hours, three hours ahead, oh. three hours back. You know, it's got to be on my time. Just you know. <laughs> you can follow me at Josh Ricardo and go uh, to joshricardo.com for all our tour dates. We are on the road a lot in November, so make sure you check it out and buy those tickets. Eddie? Uh, follow me on Instagram at Abigail Comedy. Uh, watch the clip of me almost dying. And uh, yeah, baby, those fucking birds. And then uh, email us at uh, workingclasscomedians at gmail.com. We'll see you guys again next week. You can listen to us on all major podcast platforms every Wednesday. You can follow us on Instagram at Working Class Holes. Also, make sure you watch the full show on YouTube. All you got to do is type in Working Class Holes. And please don't forget to rate us five stars and tell a friend. Come on.